Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. You know, some people have told me reverse mortgages sound too good to be true. I mean, you get cash out of your home, no monthly payments, and still own your home. There's got to be a catch, right, Jesse? Well, there isn't. It's like any other mortgage, only with reverse mortgage, the loan's paid back when the last borrower leaves the home. In fact, reverse mortgages are based on a notion that President Reagan signed into law over 25 years ago in order to help seniors remain in their homes. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you may qualify for a government-insured reverse mortgage with AAG that allows you to turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. And with AAG, there are never any income or credit score requirements. Call 1-800-661-0312 now to receive a new free information kit, including a reverse mortgage guide and DVD, personal stories from people like you, and a brand new family guide for children and loved ones, all absolutely free with no obligation. AAG can help you pay off credit card debt, eliminate monthly mortgage payments, and provide some real retirement security. Call 1-800-661-0312 today to get your free AAG reverse mortgage information kit and bonus DVD. In the kits, you'll receive a helpful three-part guide. The first will show you how a government-insured reverse mortgage allows you to access the equity in your home as tax-free cash. Half a million people have already done it. The second booklet contains stories told by people just like you who've had their lives changed forever using a reverse mortgage. And the third guide is full of helpful answers and information for children and loved ones. Call 1-800-661-0312 now to receive your information kit and DVD all absolutely free. There's simply an effective way for folks just like you to get the cash you need to enjoy your retirement. Call 1-800-661-0312 now to receive your information kit and DVD all absolutely free. Call 1-800-661-0312 now. AAG, the best advice for a better life. I'm a stickler for weather records, so I consider the first day of fall to be the day we start keeping weather records for fall, which is September the 1st. But then there's also social fall, which is after Labor Day. Um, people stop wearing white shoes anymore. Uh, there's, of course, the equinox. Then there's, of course, boot season, when you can start kicking off your flip-flops and start putting on the boots. And that comes sometime in October. So that might be when fall really begins. <laughs> I like these. I like our discussion of yeah. when when does fall start? That's been a real question. When does fall start for you? Well, I said, usually when I make my first pot of chili, yeah. I can open the windows, and I've already got my little hand towels with the fall foliage colors on them. So Very yeah, nice. I guess I'm kind of there. <laughs> okay. Well, when does fall start for you? Uh, what why don't you let us know? Yeah, huh? share it uh, with Go us on, on Twitter, yeah. Facebook. Well, I want to know what you're thinking. Most guys will say the second they you know, kick that first football. The football, right. We're then ready fall to go. starts. <laughs> hey, we've got an amazing, uh, an Amaze Me segment for you. Uh, check out these beautiful pictures from outer space looking down on clouds. This is something we meteorologists this is love to do, so Alex. This so cool. And this yeah. is a view that, that even we can't get. This was from the International Space Station. Literally, stop what you're doing if you're looking away because this is a view really from above. We are looking at some towering thunderstorm clouds. In the midst of it, looks like some wispy, serious clouds. Where or, perhaps without knowing the scenario, maybe a little smoke or haze. Or haze, yeah. And notice on the left side of the of the screen, there are those towering clouds. Well, you were able to see the shadows, another, but here's another one. Here's another view. The sunlight is coming from the right side, and it's hitting this bubbling up area, casting a shadow on the lower clouds. How Sorry cool for is the that? jumping around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's another one right here, though. You've right. got the sunlight again coming Sun in from the right side. side of the screen. This large shadow on some of those lower level clouds. So some really cool stuff. You know, you kind of get a look at some of these when you're in an airplane, but from a spaceship, the space station, whole different look. And here's some showers, bubbling up showers, and the tops of them look like they're being blown off here. Uh -huh. huh? Those are the uh, the anvil tops of thunderstorms. We often talk about those, so now you're getting a look at those from outer space. Some very, very cool stuff, yeah. or out of this world, you would say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's time now for our top five. We got to take a look at some amazing weather videos from all around the world. Well, then let's look at them. Let's get in there. Number five. Water rescue caught on camera during a flash flood in uh, El Paso, Texas. 
We've got the full story coming up next hour. A local news crew was able to help a woman. Uh, With, they gave her light, like his camera. We just talked to him, Mike Wilburn. Right. His camera, he actually got to assist, but it was so dark, at least with the light off the camera, they were able to see a little bit of what they were doing. Luckily, got that woman to safely. Terrific, Safety. terrific. Number four. Powerful waves crashing ashore, a result of Typhoon Wong hitting eastern China. Look at those waves. This is the 16th Typhoon to hit China this year. Boy, get into safe harbor there. What I say to that wow, ship operator. Wow, look at that Yo. one. Looking at it from above, one story, but when you're seeing uh, where you would maybe be looking out over the water, whole different thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, number three. Boy, this is an international look today. Time lapse of the King Fire in California's El Dorado County. This is uh, Northern California, northeast of Sacramento. You can see the smoke in the distance, mm -hmm. the clouds uh, running over top of them. And likely right above the smoke, a little bit of that pyrocumulus yeah, yeah, that yeah. sets up. Number two, this is a water spout on the other side of the country. This was offshore of Hollywood Beach in Florida. Another scary sight for those folks. You don't want to drive your boat out there, but I guess as long as it stays out over the water, you're good. And how about this? Number one, here we are back in Iceland. You know, it's been just rocking and rolling up there. Fountains of lava caught on camera. At night, following a volcano in Iceland, the lava reached over 400 feet in the sky on Holoron Valley, Iceland. I hope I pronounced that right. How cool is that when it goes out over and you see it down the dark slope? Well, we'd love to see your photos, your videos. You can upload them anytime at weather.com slash photos. You know, these are getting better and better. They're, we've got some good ones. They now, really you, are. You really set the bar high. You demand greatness. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> well, today is the first day of fall. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, or is it really? We're going to explain why meteorologists actually said goodbye to summer three weeks ago. Oh, are you kidding me? It's so hot. It's still summer. Oh, I gotta get rid of this tie. Oh. From restoring damage in just one room to an entire building, turn to the cleanup team that's here in your community and here to help at 1 800 Serve Pro, like it never even happened. So, you're saying you'll give me my credit score? For free. Right. Now you're going to ask for my credit card so you can charge me on the down low two weeks later. Look, Credit Karma. Are you talking to websites again? This website says free credit scores. Oh, Credit Karma. Yeah, it's really free. Look, you don't even have to put in your credit card information. What? <sighs> credit Karma. Really free credit scores. Really. Free. Credit Karma, I love you. I'm Creek Stewart, Weather Channel survival expert. Every Sunday night, we're taking three regular guys deep into the woods. Are you serious? Where we'll teach them not just to survive. Show make fire. But how to truly live. Look at this caveman. Show yourself what you're made of on Weather Channel Survival Sundays. At 9, it's So You Think You'd Survive. Then at 10, Fat Guys in the Woods. Every Sunday night on the Weather Channel. Are you ready? Off the couch, into the weather. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under cloudy skies. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 82. Chance of rain, 90%. Tonight, late night thunderstorms. Low, 75. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Hershey's Miniatures. Choosing is half the fun. Because there's a little something delicious for everyone. Hershey's Miniatures. Choose your own delicious. At Ancestry, we call it a hint. 
Simply type in a name and follow the ancestry leaf far into your family's past. A past filled with stories that intrigue and inspire. And in doing so, reveal the one unique, improbable, and completely remarkable path that led to you. Discover your story. Start searching for free now at Ancestry.com. Am I missing a deadline? Will I get there in time? Am I going too fast? Did I close the garage door? Stay in your lane. I don't think I sent that email. I should make a reservation. I thought it was clear. Okay, break. I didn't see that coming. Its instinct to protect leaves you free to drive. Lease the Infinity Q50 for $3.39 a month. Visit your local Infinity retailer. When the game's on the line. Okay, this is for the game. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. Plug next in, huh? Abort, abort, he's keeping it. <laughs> Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. I thought there was a lot of cheese on the Cheesy Pub Chicken Sandwich, but you clearly went all out here. There's places in here where there isn't cheese, right? As women, we always talk about how we should look or what's the best way to lose weight. But for me, it finally became all about how I feel. No tricks, just me. I looked in the mirror and I saw what I didn't want to see, the truth. I was 50 pounds overweight. That was a rough day. That's when I decided I had to lose weight. So I chose the only simple option for me, Nutrisystem. Check out Nutrisystem's Little Black Dress Kit. Now you can lose weight fast, lose five pounds in your first week, or your money back guaranteed. I lost 50 pounds. Order your 28-day My Way plan right now, including the Little Black Dress Kit. Get one week of specially selected meals, plus one week of energizing shakes free, and one week of Craving Crusher shakes free, and start slimming your belly. So why do I keep telling you about Nutrisystem? Because it works, and I know it'll work for you. Call 877-924-SIZE and lose your first five pounds fast with the Little Black Dress Kit. Work for you. Call 877-912-THIN and lose your first five pounds fast with the Little Black Dress Kit. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. All right, welcome back. I'm Hurricane Specialist Michael Lari in the lab with your tropical update. It is the first full day of autumn, and of course that means usually nice, cool, dry weather. Well, for some, we have had a cold front that's pushed through the southeast, but unfortunately if you're off in the Carolinas, it's been a gray, dreary, rainy day, and that's because of this front, which is now stalled out across the waters of the Gulf of Mexico and the western Atlantic. And when you get to late September and early October and you have these fronts get into the warm ocean waters, because remember, even though the atmosphere is cooling down, it takes a little while longer to cool off those oceans, usually a month or two before the oceans really begin to cool down. And so you have to watch along these fronts because sometimes you can get areas of low pressure uh, try to spin up, and our computer model are suggesting that maybe an area of low pressure uh, trying to form here off the coast of the Carolinas as we get into the middle part of the week. Do we expect any development? Well, no, but the reason for that is because of this. Here's the water vapor picture. Uh, this shows you the moisture, but it also shows you the wind flow at the upper levels of the atmosphere, so about 30,000 feet off of the ocean surface. And what this is showing us is those winds are just screaming from southwest to northeast at the upper part of the atmosphere. Meanwhile, at the lower part of the atmosphere, they're coming from the opposite direction, southeast to northwest. That's about as perpendicular or as different as you can get in the direction of the winds. And the change in the wind direction as you go up is something that we call wind shear. So there's a lot of wind shear here. That's going to prevent anything from forming across uh, the western Atlantic waters. But unfortunately, it is going to be a messy, soggy Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, not just here in the Carolinas, but up into the mid-Atlantic as well. Very hostile wind pa pattern across the west of the Atlantic. Also, here we have the 
this uh, mid-ocean trough, just a dip sort of in the upper level wind pattern here, and that's producing that same wind shear across parts of the islands and just into extending into the central Atlantic. So really, Dave and Alex, it's going to be quiet across the Atlantic at least for the next few days. Back to you. Michael Lowry, our hurricane expert. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, it's considered the first full day of autumn, but according to whom? When do you consider fall officially kicking off? The moment the direct rays of the sun are over the <laughs> equator. You're so a stickler. September 21st, this year, September 22nd, 1015, 1029 Eastern Time. All right, you got it. Well, as Nick Walker tells us, autumn has technically two starts. The one that Dave mentioned and the start of autumn, according to meteorology. Those who love the fall color look forward to this time of year, around the third week in September, when, according to our calendars, the colorful season begins. The autumnal equinox comes during the transition from summer, when the sun's most direct rays are over the northern hemisphere, heading toward winter, when the sun's direct rays are over the southern hemisphere. The equinox came at 1029 Eastern Time last night, at the moment when the sun was directly over the equator. But meteorologists in the northern hemisphere said goodbye to summer, not last night, but three full weeks ago. Meteorological autumn began on September 1st. The reason it's different from the equinox on the 22nd? Well, probably the most important is for record keeping. We need consistent periods to calculate averages in order to compare weather from one year to the next. The dates when the astronomical seasons start and end are not consistent. For example, next year the equinox is on September 23rd. In 2016, it's back to the 22nd again. Also, when you look at weather in most places in the Northern Hemisphere, the warmest temperatures occur from June to August, the coldest from December to February. Most of us in this country have had freezing weather well before the winter solstice begins, three or four days before Christmas. Meteorological autumn, the period of September through November, is for most a transitional time between the warmest and coolest time of year. For most of us, these kind of fall images are still a few weeks away. But if we look at the season strictly from a meteorological point of view, autumn has been already underway for weeks. I'm meteorologist Nick Walker. Well, there you have it. It just depends what side you pick. Yeah, your perspective. All right, well, day two of Climate Week in New York City. Today, celebrities and leaders of state took to the podium to demand action. We'll have a report. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under cloudy skies. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 82. Chance of rain, 90%. Tonight, late night thunderstorms. Low, 75. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. the two largest economies and emitters in the world, we have a special responsibility to lead. That's what big nations have to do. The president makes his impassioned plea for change today. How he says the government is preparing to deal with changing climate. And another change today. It's the first day of autumn, but it feels right. more like we're falling back into summer. We'll tell you who's going to see temps nearly 20 degrees higher than average. And it's a very, very a view that very few people get to see. The amazing images that are amazing us today. Wait till you see exactly what's going on beneath these clouds. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you are watching Weather Center Live. 
We thank you so much for joining us today on this Tuesday. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. A happy autumn to you. Climate Week is going on right now in New York City, as you probably are aware. And there were some very heavy hitters that took center stage today. That's right. You heard the president just now, but we've also got celebrities taking to the podium at the United Nations. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio is one of them. We are going to bring you those speeches throughout the hour. But right now, we do want to take a look at some of the areas that have some weather action going on, including... Florida. It's another rainy day there, Dave. That's right. We've got our Kvetch line is really lighting up here in Florida. People calling in complaining, what the heck? You can see the rain in the distance where the visibility really tails off. We've got patchy light rain here in Miami, heavy rain out over the uh, Biscayne Bay. Look at it, moving from south to north. This has been what one wet time of it. Everglades City with some sprinkles left over. Naples, same story. Would you believe in Dauphin, Manitoba right now, it's warmer than it is in Miami. 79 up there in Dauphin, Manitoba. 75 rain cool degrees in Miami. Got some heavy rain off the East Coast here too, all tied in with the Florida rain. That's moving northward. Moving into the Carolinas, making for a very gray day in Goldsboro, Charlotte, North Carolina. Ugh. Even Greenville, South Carolina, only in the low 60s right now. Then you break out into the sun and temperatures warm to around 80 in Birmingham, Alabama. But it's this area, that comes, some of the worst weather in the country right now is in the Carolinas and patchy spots in Florida. This rain is going to be heading northward. Get ready for rain tonight in Wilmington, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Then tomorrow afternoon, it begins here in Norfolk. And that'll spread right up toward Richmond, Salisbury, and Wilmington, Delaware. So we've got rain in the southeast. That'll move north, north of the Mason-Dixon line by Thursday morning. Alex, back to you. Thank you so much, David. It's the first official day of autumn, but tell that to places like Denver. People there nearing 80 degrees as far as what they're feeling. Those thermometers at 79. And your forecasted high for Thursday is 87. So folks in Denver, all about the t-shirts. Average high this time of year is in the mid 70s. Denver, not the only spot that's going to be feeling like fall. In fact, it's gonna be a warm start to fall for the plains. We'll be seeing temperatures above 20 degrees, uh, 20 degrees above normal at times. So we are talking about some high heat headed to this part of the country right now. Denver, as I said, at 79, we've got upper 70s, even some low 80s surrounding the city now into the higher elevations, some upper 40s and upper 50s showing up on thermometers. Right now, Fargo is at 75. 577 in Rapid City, 83 in Billings, near 80 in Denver, low 80s in Wichita. We do have, uh, you can see some circulation around an area of low pressure and those winds coming out of the south out ahead of this. Wichita, your temperature at 82. You've got some breezy winds out of the south at this point. Last check, they were gusting over, to, or rather they were over 20 miles an hour. So early in the week, we've got that cooler air to the north, that jet stream way, way up to the north. And it's going to stay up there. So we've got a ridge of high pressure into the area. That warm air will expand beneath that ridge of high pressure. Winds out of the south will help those temps rise above average or above normal for this time of year. Tomorrow, we are 18 degrees above average in Bismarck, 20 degrees above average in Billings. 92 for Billings and Bismarck on Thursday. Friday, you can see the heat centered into parts of South Dakota, also northwest Nebraska. North Platte's going to be at 85, 91 in Rapid City, 88 in Salt Lake City, 14 degrees above average. Dave. Alex, you're blowing my mind. Yeah. I mean, you know, summer we didn't have that kind of heat. Well, just hours after addressing the nation to announce airstrikes against ISIS in Syria, President Obama stepped to the podium at the UN to discuss a threat he says is even greater, global climate change. No nation is immune. In America, the past decade has been our hottest on record. Along our eastern coast, the city of Miami now floods at high tide. In our west, wildfire season now stretches most of the year. In our heartland, farms have been parched by the worst drought in generations and drenched by the wettest spring in our history. A hurricane left parts of this great city dark and underwater. And some nations already live with far worse. 
And last night we dedicated an entire hour of Weather Center Live to the climate change and to the weather. And our experts were all here to take questions from our viewers. And a lot of people were interested in tornadoes. Will we see more? Will we see less? Here's what severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes had to say. Well, the answer is we really don't know. The data, our historical data, the database is not good enough to tell us. And then if you consider alternatively the physical processes that you need to get tornadoes, even there there's a competition. You need warm, moist, unstable air to make the thunderstorms. We know we'll have more of that. But the wind shear that you need to get those thunderstorms to rotate, that may go down as the jet stream actually migrates farther into the northern latitude. So the jury is still out even there in terms of how tornadoes will respond. We do think, though, in the summer months without more warmth and moisture, those pop-up thunderstorms that go up, get top heavy, they'll come crashing down with flash flooding and local damaging winds that will probably increase. Cool well, stuff. firefighters, very cool stuff. You know, in the West, it's fires that's it a big is. deal, and the firefighters are gaining ground on a massive blaze in Northern California. But that could all change this afternoon. Coming up, a change in the weather that could make for a very dangerous day on the ground. This is something residents and the folks fighting those fires need to pay attention to. We were walking over there, we fell into the canal, and we almost got swept under also. In Texas, Dave, we're going to talk more about this and how a local news crew helped. What does an apron have to do with car insurance? Every time you tie in an apron, you make progress. Progress is what we make too. Alaska. It's the place you've always dreamed of, where the ordinary is simply extraordinary. And the views, like your memories, go on forever. When was the last time a vacation took your breath away? Alaska. Begin your adventure at alaskabeyondyourdreams.com. Whoa, whoa. Hey. People are talking about fat guys in the woods. I mean, no joke, man. Well, that is really cool. The Weather Channel's hit survival series. This Sunday, come see why the buzz is only getting bigger and bigger. Victory! On a new episode of Fat Guys in the Woods, Sunday night at 10 on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, late night thunderstorms. Low, 75. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. Introducing York Minis. A bite-sized new way to enjoy the full-size sensation of peppermint and rich dark chocolate. New York Minis. Get the sensation. Presenting luxurious savings at Ace. What? Save $7 instantly now through Sunday on gallons of Valspar Optimus. Our most premium paint. Ace is a place to help the hardware folks. Embrace your inner athlete 
and share your team spirit with football gear for your pet at PetSmart. Now save 20% on NFL jerseys, collars, and leashes. Only at PetSmart. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Sometimes the best used car on the road is the one you're still using. Right now, get $50 off a standard brake service, including a lifetime parts guarantee at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Years of dry weather have made the bad even worse, fighting fires in Northern California. This is the Kink Fire, only 30% contained. Firefighters are worried about the wind today. Gusts could hit 25 miles per hour this afternoon, providing even more fuel for the flames, or at least fanning them. More than 7,000 firefighters are on the scene. The fire has destroyed 90,000 acres. Well, there is help on the way from Mother Nature, but it's kind of a double-edged sword in a way. There is a storm coming. There are f red flag warnings in effect for high fire danger, parts of Oregon, Northeast California, and Northwest Nevada. But it's not just the rain that you get from these. And rain is on the way. It's raining in Seattle right now. That's gonna spread right down the coast. But before the rain gets here, the wind really picks up. And the fires that are not going to be receiving rain through Thursday are likely to spread California up to Idaho. Here's the wind forecast for Oregon, Nevada, Northern California that we just saw on that last map. Notice the winds picking up to 20 to 30 miles per hour, even 35 miles per hour at times. So uh, before the rain gets here, it's gonna be rough. Once the rain gets here, that will put a damper on things, on the spread. It'll make it easier to contain these fires. Here's the big storm, and I'll tell you what, this has a tropical hookup. Notice the white milky color coming in all the way southward from the tropics. That's good news. That's exactly what we need. A tropical hookup, the pineapple pipeline, moisture into the west. We just have to make it through that windy period first. Alex, back to you. Thank you, Dave. For the second time in five days, El Paso, Texas is drying out after a dangerous flash flood. More than five inches of rain fell in about five hours in the northwest part of the city. At least one woman drowned after water swept her car into a canal, but others were saved from the rising water, and one of those dramatic rescues was caught on camera. <laughs> amazing stuff yet so so scary to probably be in that situation and so pervasive this year mm -hmm. that could have been detroit i mean omaha washington dc awesome all right well our experts are once again watching activity in the tropics Here's the deal. Normally, in mid-September, I'd say, yeah, fall is definitely here. But I live in the south now. I'm still wearing my short shorts, temperatures into the 90s. My friends up in the northeast posting pictures on Instagram of the pumpkin spice latte, which needs to stop, by the way. We get it. You really enjoy it. It's fall. That's cool. Down here in the south, though, still summer. Maybe you didn't know. People with the flu can spread it up to six feet away. Or that flu can make chronic conditions worse. Maybe you didn't know any of the stuff your Rite Aid pharmacist knows. But now that you've gotten your flu shot at Rite Aid, maybe you don't need to.
On my journey across America, I've learned that when you ask someone in Texas if they want big savings on car insurance, it's a bit like asking if they want a big hat. Uh, excuse me. Or what a big steak. Or big head. I think we have our answer. The facts. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Some people think vegetables are boring. But with Green Giant's delicious seasonings and blends, we just may change their minds. Green Giant. I've got one shot. Let's go Twins right, 24 stretch. 24 stretch, all diamonds. Twins right, 24 stretch. All diamonds on tour. When the game's on the line. Hit them with a hard count. Let's see if they'll tip their hand. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. The puts it up the gut. Get out of the pocket. <laughs> Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. Admit it. You never thought you'd see this day. The day you could walk without shooting pain in your back. All because you took the first step and had surgery at Laser Spine Institute. The experts in outpatient minimally invasive neck and back surgery. All it takes is an incision less than one inch and you'll be up and walking within a few hours of surgery and there is no lengthy recovery. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, bulging or herniated disc, sciatica or other chronic conditions, call today for a free MRI review. I woke up in recovery and I was absolutely no pain at all. It's amazing. Now I can get on the bike, I can go anywhere. The Laser Spine Institute gave me my life back. I'm still going strong today because of them. If you've been told you might need neck or back surgery, call 1-855-537-STEP for a free MRI review. Go from a life of pain to a lifetime of living. Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. This week on America's Morning Headquarters, a bucket list destination is on the verge of vanishing. Which one of our national parks is literally evaporating? And we're looking forward to fall. What you can expect this season in your... I'm only in my 60s. I've got a nice long life ahead. Big plans. So when I found out Medicare doesn't pay all my medical expenses, I got a Medicare supplement insurance plan. If you're eligible for Medicare, you may know it only covers about 80% of your Part B medical expenses. The rest is up to you. Call now and find out about an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Like all standardized Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, it could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. Call now to request your free decision guide. I've been with my doctor for 12 years. Now I know I'll be able to stick with them. You'll be able to visit any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients. Plus, there are no networks and virtually no referrals needed. See why millions of people have already enrolled in the only Medicare supplement insurance plans endorsed by AARP. Don't wait. Call now. Looking for a new breed of broker? There's a name for people like you. Trade King. Switch today. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, late night thunderstorms, low 75, winds light and variable, chance of rain 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms, high 85, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook.
Hurricane Odile could be one of Mexico's most expensive weather disasters, perhaps the most expensive on record. According to some Mexican media reports, Odile will cost the insurance industry there at least $900 million. However, only about 1 in 20 homes in Mexico are insured. So the real total will likely to likely rise into the billions of dollars. Odile hit Cabo San Lucas last week as a Category 3 storm, killing at least five people. Thousands are still without power. I'm out here in the lab with our hurricane specialist, Michael Lowry, because we are still watching the Eastern Pacific for more action. It's been about as active as the Eastern Pacific has ever been so far this hurricane season. And the reason for that, Alex, is because of very warm ocean waters there in the Pacific. I want to want to show you this on our new 3D globe here in the lab. It's a pretty cool tool that we can use uh, to show you what's happening around the world. Any type of weather, Alex, at any time, what we do is sort of stitch together all of the data, all of the information that we get from satellites from the Pacific all the way across to into the Atlantic. So what you're seeing here are the very warm waters. And notice, Alex, how they're hugging there the coast of Mexico. That's where all of our strongest storms have formed this hurricane season. And that's where, as we look at the satellite picture overlaid on those ocean temperatures, where we're actually seeing some activity right now. That's right. You can see there's a collection of storms about 200 miles to the south of Acapulco. That is our next invest, Invest 99E, an area that we're watching for possible development. And it looks like that will become our next tropical depression or storm here over the next few days. So I want to show you what it looks like on the visible picture. This is a zoomed in shot of it. Uh, and you can see that there is a spin to this, Alex, but the thunderstorms themselves are being blown down to the south uh, because of upper level winds from the north. So that's sort of keeping it in check right now. But you got the spin there, the thunder storms, if they can just build back over that circulation, then uh, we'll easily have a tropical depression. And this is a good chance of becoming a tropical depression, something that I'm sure the folks in Baja are, or Cabo are, are thinking, Please don't let it come up yeah. here because we're still trying to clean up from Odile. No, I know. And then they had they had Polo sort of give them a scare last right. week. And the last thing they need is another one. Thankfully, though, this is forecast to move toward the west or west-northwest. And really, Alex, the steering pattern is quite a bit different now than it was a few weeks ago. High pressure nosing into the eastern Pacific and really protecting uh, the Baja Peninsula, I think, from this threat. If it's going to develop, it'll be in this area. Our computer models, though, in good agreement that this will stay south of Cabo. All right. That is good news to those folks. Thank you so much, Michael. We'll check back in with you in a second. Right now, we'll send it back to Dave. Thanks, guys. Well, the message is powerfully clear in Glacier National Park. Climate change is causing the glaciers to melt away. And once they're gone, the impacts will be meaningful and widespread for all of us. Rick Adams shows us how losing them will cause a cascade of effects. A beauty so striking, a landscape so majestic, it's worthy to be called the crown of the continent. Every year, millions of visitors come to catch a glimpse of a glacier. But climate change, fueled by human activities, will soon rob us of this view forever. The scale with which uh, this is happening, the speed with which this is happening, is not natural. Dan Fagri of the USGS has watched these glaciers retreat for more than two decades. He brought me here to Grinnell Glacier, an ice field that shrunk a staggering 40% since the 1960s. The glacier used to be an impressive thing to climb up on top of, and now it's down about your ankles. The fate of the glacier is pretty much sealed. And that's sounding an alarm for even more serious changes ahead for all of us. One of the reasons that we're studying glaciers like this is to look at them as reflections of overall climate change. And so what happens to this glacier is happening to the entire rest of the ecosystem. Losing the glacier potentially means the death of an entire ecosystem linked by ice and snow, including plants and animals that require cold water. For mountain areas, climate change means shorter winters and earlier springs. Reduced snowpack will create drier forests, making more fuel for wildfires. And without the slow release of snowmelt from glaciers, the entire character of the park could be altered. With so much at stake, how much time do we have left? If you want to see glaciers in their impressive state, you need to come pretty soon. Because our planet's temperature is quickly warming, it's hard to estimate an exact date. But Fagri believes they'll vanish in less than 20 years and nothing can be done to reverse or stop it. These glaciers have probably been present on this landscape for about 7,000 years. Their loss is going to be really meaningful. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel. 
And a change in climate could mean changing how we forecast extreme weather events like hurricanes. I think it will. Coming up next, the three main ingredients with Brian Norcross. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis like me, and you're talking to your rheumatologist about a biologic, this is Humira. This is Humira helping to relieve my pain. This is Humira helping me lay the groundwork. This is Humira helping to protect my joints from further damage. Doctors have been prescribing Humira for 10 years. Humira works by targeting and helping to block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to RA symptoms. Humira is proven to help relieve pain and stop further joint damage in many adults. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Take the next step. Talk to your doctor and visit Humira.com. This is Humira at work. When the power goes out, be weather ready. Unplug appliances and electrical equipment before a thunderstorm. Electrical spikes and surges can cause major damage when the power returns. Get more tips like this at weather.com slash ready. Brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Mesothelioma victims and their loved ones may be entitled to a cash award from the $18 billion in asbestos trust funds, and you may not have to file a lawsuit to qualify. If diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by exposure to asbestos, call the number on your screen now. Even if a loved one had mesothelioma or asbestos lung cancer and has passed, your family may still be entitled to a cash award. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer caused by exposure to asbestos. Many victims worked in the Navy or in shipyards, mills, carpentry, roofing, insulation, construction, or automotive industries. For over 30 years, our legal team has successfully helped thousands of victims and families. Time is limited. You may not have to file a lawsuit. If your loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by exposure to asbestos, please call 1-800-993-4678 now. That's 1-800-993-4678. Gonna want to watch 7 a.m. on AMHQ. This is a big weather morning. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What you watch in the morning matters. It's your weather geeky this morning. Make AMHQ your morning show. America's morning headquarters. Weekday morning starting live at 7 Eastern on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, late night thunderstorms, low 75, winds light and variable, chance of rain 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms, high 85, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. the buzz on Fat Guys in the Woods. The Weather Channel's hit survival series is getting bigger and bigger. Victory! A new episode Sunday night at 10 on the Weather Channel. This is the most urgent of times and the most urgent of messages. Every week we're seeing new and undeniable climate events, evidence that accelerated climate change is here right now. You can just wake up pretty much any day and listen to Mother Nature who is screaming at us about it. There is still hope. 
if we make the right set of choices. This is now about our industries and our governments around the world taking decisive, large-scale action. Our chance to live up to this is now. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Good to see you. Well, coming up, the impassioned speeches for Climate Week in New York City. But first, an unusual weather pattern has our attention on this first full day of autumn. And we're talking heat for some, rain for others. Not rain right now, but Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, you could see some on the way. But in the meantime, beautiful sky over D.C., Philadelphia. You've seen some of that sunshine over Center City, Philadelphia, New York. Looking great there as well. But Dave, you've got the news on the wet weather heading your way. I do. All three cities, we've got great weather. D.C., the warm spot at 73 right now, 70 in Philly and New York. We've had a northwest flow of dry air in from Canada. Just a few sprinkles or flurries up here in the mountains of northern New England and upstate New York. It's chilly. Mount Washington sitting at 32 with a wind gust of 69 miles per hour out of the northwest. huh? But here we're looking great. But how long will that last? Well, here's the headline. Gloomy east coast into late week. We've got a storm that's sitting over the Carolinas right now. Can you see the upper level low that's spinning right here? Kind of hard to tell. If we switch to water vapor imagery, I think you can see it. That's helping to draw some of the mid and upper level moisture back in. And we've had sprinkles into Charlotte where it's 59 degrees. Can you believe that? 59 in Charlotte. It's about 20 degrees warmer than that in Denver at the present time. So we got the cool air from the northeast filtering southward, mixing with the rain, and that even cools it more. It's warmer in New York City than it is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. An area of low pressure develops along this front, heads northward. The rain's into the Outer Banks. It'll be into Norfolk tonight, into maybe Salisbury, Washington, D.C. Tomorrow night and Thursday, cool, wet weather on the way. Just a heads up. Enjoy the sunshine today. Alex? Thank you so much, Dave. We are looking at Minneapolis, one of the spots that's fairly warm and going to get warmer right now. Temperatures in the low 70s under mostly cloudy skies. Midwest, though, it might be fall, but it's still feeling like summer as those temperatures will stay on the warm side. So let's take a look at this warm start to fall for parts of the Midwest and just how warm those temps will be rising. Right now, as I mentioned, Minneapolis in the low 70s under those mostly cloudy skies. Winds gusting to 22 miles per hour, so a little breezy out there. Right now, we've got low to mid 70s in Duluth and Marquette and Des Moines, Kansas City, upper 60s in Chicago, Detroit and Indianapolis, all three spots at 69. Wind speeds right now, 15 to 20 miles an hour for Fargo, Minneapolis, Omaha and Wichita. Breezy and Minot as well. Those winds lighten up over near Rapid City and Denver. We've got those winds that'll be coming out of the south through much of the week as a ridge of high pressure sets in over the region and that's going to help those in, uh, temperatures be on the upswing. Late week, you see that jet stream way off to the north. That's the ridge and beneath that ridge of high pressure temperatures will be warming. So that warm air expands into parts of the central U.S. and the Midwest and those highs will be above average. Tomorrow nearly 10 degrees above average in Marquette with a high of 70 degrees. On Thursday 10 degrees above average in Minneapolis. 14 degrees above average in International Falls. International Falls will be in the upper 70s on Friday. 16 degrees above average. Dave over to you. Alex, well, it's climate week this week, as you probably well know, and today celebrities and world leaders came together to demand action. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio was just one of the activists who took to the podium. Let's listen to his remarks. This is not about just telling people to change their light bulbs or to buy a hybrid car. This disaster has grown beyond the choices that individuals make. This is now about our industries and our governments around the world taking decisive, large-scale action. Now must be our moment for action. We need to put a price tag on carbon emissions and eliminate government subsidies for oil, coal, and gas companies. We need to end the free ride that industrial polluters have been given in the name of a free market economy. They do not deserve our tax dollars. They deserve our scrutiny, for the economy itself will die if our ecosystems collapse. The good news is that renewable energy is not only achievable, but good economic policy. This is the most urgent of times and the most urgent of messages. Honored delegates, leaders of the world, I pretend for a living, but you do not. The people made their voices heard on Sunday around the world and the momentum will not stop. 
But now it is your turn. The time to answer humankind's greatest challenge is now. We beg of you to face it with courage and honesty. Thank you. Well, this week, the Weather Channel has been working on showing you a forecast of the future. Last night, we took an in-depth look at what the weather will look like three decades from now. One of the big changes we could see is with hurricane season. Senior hurricane specialist Brian Norcross examines with a new tool in the lab what the season might look like in 2050. We know that the number of hurricanes goes up and down year by year, and that's a, a difficult thing to predict. But there's no definitive evidence that climate change is related to that in terms of what we see right now. But when we look to the future, we do see some evidence that the climate and the way it's going to change might have an effect on hurricanes in the year 2050. Here are a few of the things that we think we know. First of all, we think we know that the oceans are going to get warmer, and a warmer ocean, we think, will continue contribute to more storms. So we put two pluses there indicating that will be a significant influence on an increasing favorability for the development of hurricanes. Now another thing we think we know is that the overall atmosphere is going to get warmer. You might think that that would also encourage more hurricanes to develop, but we think not. We think that would be a negative because it's actually the contrast between the warm ocean and cooler air aloft in the atmosphere that tends to increase development of hurricanes. So we have one X there indicating a somewhat negative factor. Now, another thing that we think will occur is an increase in upper level winds dipping down into the tropics. And we think that would be a significant negative influence on the number of storms developing in the tropics. So when you add all that up, here's the bottom line. A double plus for the warmer ocean, a single X for the warmer atmosphere, and a double X for the stronger upper level winds. So the net of all that we think indica the indications are fewer but stronger hurricanes you know, because when the conditions all come together, you have that warmer ocean to fuel a stronger storm. But we have to say it's still quite uncertain because there are other factors. For instance, in a warmer atmosphere, you may well get much more cloudiness and how that will interact with those other factors is still unknown. The climate models are not certain on that. And tomorrow for Climate Week on AMHQ, Sam Champion will interview NOAA Administrator Dr. Katherine Sullivan. He'll talk with her about what her agency is doing to deal with the extreme weather events that are expected to occur as a result of climate change. That's all coming up tomorrow morning only here on the Weather Channel. Well, we've all seen a thunderstorm, right? And when it hits, we get video like this, heavy rain, strong winds. But wait until you see the different and, dare we say, amazing view of a thunderstorm coming up. Well, you may say it. I think we can. It was pretty awesome. Also, what caused these powerful waves along eastern China's coasts? You'll find out in our top five videos. That's all coming up next on Weather Center Live. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, late night thunderstorms, low 75. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. residential to commercial, from large loss to emergency response. Whenever damage strikes, call on the cleanup team that's faster to any size disaster at 1-800-SERVE-PRO, like it never even happened. Fruit with a cool finish. Fruit on one side, cool on the other. Icebreakers Duo, a fruity cool way to break the ice. You guys are good to go? Let me just get this out of here. 
Unlike some places, we don't just change your oil. Our oil offer comes with a four tire rotation and a 27 point inspection. And everything looked great. Actually, could you leave those in? Sure. Want me to run them through the car wash for you too? No, I, I can't. Get our everyday price match guarantee plus a hundred dollar rebate on four select tires from your tire experts. Chevy certified service. You swore you'd never do it. Trading in your sporty little two-door for a minivan? But here you are, counting cup holders and captain's chairs. Getting in. Not to worry. Allstate can help you save an average of $3,000 on a new car. Let an Allstate agent surprise you by helping you get a deal on the car you might not want, but really need. Call 877-279-9200 now. The car seat, the baby booties, and ointments you've never heard of. It all adds up. That's where the good hands can help. Now Allstate can help you save 20% or more on a new car seat. So you have a little extra for all the extras. I think you're in there nice and safe. Talk to an Allstate agent and start saving today. Talking to the car seat? Mm-hmm. And if you call right now, you can get two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safe. Only from Allstate. Just a few more ways the good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 877-279-9200 now. Guys, you're not going to believe this. Watch this. Sam always gives you the good news in person, bad news in email. Good news. FedEx has flat rate shipping. It's called FedEx One Rate, and it's affordable. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Man. And we have to work the weekend. Great. More good news. It's Friday. Woo! Ship a pack via FedEx Express Saver for as low as $7.50. At Residence Inn, you have room to stretch out. Room to prepare. Room to recharge. And room to walk tall. Because it's not a room, it's a residence. Residence Inn. Did you hear about Nancy and John? Hmm. Emily's college fund wiped out. How did that happen? They used the same password for all their accounts. John had it stored in an email folder and his account got hacked. Wait, we keep passwords stored in emails too. We need to do something now. Protect your passwords with Dashlane, the password solution trusted by millions. Dashlane generates strong passwords, secures them with bank level encryption, and safely logs you into every website. Go to Dashlane.com and get it for free today. With Crizal No Glare lenses, neither water, nor scratch, nor smudge, nor glare of night can keep you from the clearest vision possible. And Crizal has ESPF 25 to protect your eyes from the damaging rays of the sun. Crizal, live life in the clear. I'm a stickler for weather records, so I consider the first day of fall to be the day we start keeping weather records for fall, which is September the 1st. But then there's also social fall, which is after Labor Day. Um, people stop wearing white shoes anymore. Uh, there's, of course, the equinox. Then there's, of course, boot season, when you can start kicking off your flip-flops and start putting on the boots. And that comes sometime in October. So that might be when fall really begins. That's amazing. It Wasn't is. That well, amazing? it's amazing. Just hear from Jane Carfagno about that. Uh, agreed, yeah. agreed. <laughs> but it is amazing how here, even in the Weather Channel building, there are so many different opinions oh, on yeah. when you can really say, yep, fall's here. Mm -hmm. What do you say? You say spring has sprung, fall has fallen? F fung? <laughs> I guess so. Fall yeah. has fung. Hey, <laughs> it's time to amaze you with some awesome, visible satellite images. This is the coolest stuff. Stop yeah. what you're doing. Check this out. These are actually photos from the International Space Station, station literally out of this world. The images are part of a project called Windows on Earth, created by Dan Barstow. And our weather.com team brought them to our attention and showed us some of the favorites this morning. So you can see more of them on the website. But this yeah. is one of Florida. This is Miami. You see uh, Biscayne Bay in the lower left-hand part of the screen there. And we're looking uh, from right to left. We're looking north to south. These are thunderstorms on the sea breeze front. Right, Alex? And how cool is that? You actually can see that thunderstorm reaching really to the top of, of the troposphere where we begin to see that overshooting anvil, right out, or the right. spread out anvil. The, very, very cool. That air just doesn't want to rise.
rise anymore. Mm -hmm. And of course, eventually it collapses in the form of a rainstorm. Exactly. Here's it, one from India, but kind of the same idea. Same idea. It looks like a cloudy day, but right in the middle, the top of a thunderstorm, which looks to me like a cheese Danish. I it don't does know about kind you. of look like a cheese Danish or a brain, but you're seeing the rising motion of the air, or like a, a head of cauliflower almost, because you're seeing the different the different layers. Right, but uh, not as friendly as a head of cauliflower. No, 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 not as. Uh, you would some would argue that's very bland. Thunderstorms right, now. Right. San Francisco, it's fog we're looking at. How cool is this? Right, these clouds are actually down near the water. So the hilltops are clear. Right. You'd be looking down on the overcast from the hilltops. You get in some of those valleys and you can see that, that fog within those. But I mean, that's pretty awesome. And we want to tell you about uh, the top five videos. You can see all of those, I should say, on weather.com. But if we haven't amazed you enough already, I think we got five videos that should do the trick. And you can only see the top five right here. That's no, right. Number five. <laughs> this is a water rescue caught on camera during flash flooding in El Paso, Texas. A local news crew was able to help a lady who was pinned down by the force of the water. They uh, provided some light and actually some muscle to this rescue. Right, without his camera. Amazing. And he was just out there to shoot the floods. They wouldn't have been able to see her she nearly as clearly. Very lucky they spotted her. Video number four. Powerful waves crashing ashore as a result of Typhoon Feng Wang hitting eastern China. Now this is the 16th typhoon to hit China this year. Typhoon waves uh, in China. Obviously, this boat is seeking Whoa, self safe how about harbor. That? Whoa! Now that's a wave. Number three. Time lapse of the King Fire in California's El Dorado County. You can see the smoke billowing across the lake. You can also see at times that pyrocumulus cloud right, right above, from the, above smoke. the fire. Right. And, uh, just, you know, amazing stuff, although so sad to see those the images of the fire. I know. And of course we all know what this one is. A water spout. That's right. This one sent to us by Rhonda Black. Thank you, Rhonda. Hollywood Beach, Florida. So that's a scene out of real Hollywood, not make-believe right. Hollywood. Right, right. And number one, how about some lava for you? Fountains of lava caught on camera at night. This was out of a volcano in Iceland. Now that lava has reached over 400 feet high in Iceland. Not what you'd expect, some fire and ice. Or lava in Iceland. Or lava in Iceland. That is one geologically active place. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can upload your videos anytime at weather.com slash photos. Now, today is the first full day of fall. Or is it really? We will explain why meteorologists actually said goodbye to summer three full weeks ago. But don't tell that to Mike Bettis. He's not hearing it. Oh, are you kidding me? It's so hot. It's still summer. Oh, I gotta get rid of this tie. Oh. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Driving on wet roads is dangerous. So before you get behind the wheel, go to weather.com slash DDI and check the driving difficulty index. Brought to you by Subaru. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. I just got charged for my credit score. Again. You should check out Credit Karma. They're like free. How? Ads. Credit Karma? Yeah. Credit Karma. Really free credit score. This October. The Weather Channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. I saw something. I don't know how to explain it. Every Sunday. It's a story that's got a life of its own. A new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Premiering October 5th on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight.
tonight, late night thunderstorms, low 75, winds light and variable, chance of rain 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms, high 85, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. Sometimes the best used car on the road is the one you're still using. Right now, get $50 off a standard brake service, including a lifetime parts guarantee at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Embrace your inner athlete and share your team spirit with football gear for your pet at PetSmart. Now save 20% on NFL jerseys, collars, and leashes. Only at PetSmart. Under the roof of a home or business, damage can happen. When it does, turn to the specialists who put help in the palm of your hand. The Ready App and Emergency Response Plans from 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. Average work pants versus a giant angry beaver. Duluth trading fire hose work pants versus a giant angry beaver. <laughs> Duluth trading fire hose work pants. Tougher than an angry beaver's teeth. Get a pair. Only at DuluthTrading.com. Okay, Patrick, one more stop. Let's go base, shark, blitz. Base, shark, blitz. When the game's on the line. Okay, this is for the game. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. Plug like this, all right? Abort, abort, he's keeping it. <laughs> Maxwell's is now open in the Driftwood Plaza of Jupiter. Gold, silver, coins, diamonds, jewelry, paintings, and objects of art. If you don't want it or wear it, sell it to Maxwell's. We buy and sell diamonds of all sizes, clarity, and condition up to 10 carats in size and above. We have decades of experience buying and selling gold, coins, diamonds, and objects of art. Maxwell's, located in the Driftwood Plaza on US-1 in Jupiter, Florida. Did you know seven of the ten costliest hurricanes to make landfall in U.S. history caused insured losses in Florida? Hurricane force winds can exert more than one ton of pressure on an exterior door or window. Property losses from a storm can have a catastrophic impact on your finances or those of your business. Weston Insurance Company offers windstorm insurance and may be the most affordable option for your home or business. Weston, for when the wind blows screenings for $149. Call now at 800-393-7147. Tonight, only the Weather Channel takes you this far. Inside Hurricane Rita, Hurricane 360, tonight at 10 on the Weather Channel. Hey, welcome back to the lab. I'm Hurricane Specialist Michael Laurie with the latest on the tropics. Now, it's the first full day of autumn, and that usually means cool and dry weather. Well, at least for some of us, that's been the case. But if you live along the eastern seaboard, not so much today and not so much this week. Take a look at the visible picture and you can see all of that rainfall up and down through the Carolinas. That's going to be spreading northward. This is all associated with the frontal boundary, a cold front that's moved into the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the western Atlantic, but has stalled out and still producing the thunderstorms uh, to the north. We expect that there will be a low area, uh, an area of low pressure uh, that forms down here off the Carolinas tomorrow and into Thursday. That's going to push up the coast. Now, this is not not expected to be what we call a tropical low. This is going to be a non-tropical low that's associated with that uh, that frontal boundary. And the reason we don't expect this to develop is because the upper level wind pattern, if you look at the water vapor picture, uh, this not only shows us the amount of moisture at say 30,000 feet above the
the surface, but also shows us what the winds are doing. Well, the winds are just howling from southwest to northeast, and that's not going to allow anything to develop. Really, all of the energy feeding into this developing coastal low is coming from the atmosphere and the processes that are going on because of the differences in the temperature uh, on either side of that front. So no development expected here, but it's going to bring heavy rainfall and some possible coastal flooding to the mid-Atlantic on Wednesday into Thursday. Elsewhere across the Atlantic, it remains quiet because, well, the wind pattern is just really, really unfavorable. A big uh, dip in those upper winds there across the central Atlantic. I want to talk about the Atlantic and how quiet it's been and show you this uh, number here. The ACE is the amount of tropical energy that's been uh, produced in the Atlantic, and this is through September 22nd, going back to 1981. And I want you to focus on the past 20 years or so. The lowest ACE in terms of the numbers have been last year and 2002. This year, though, looks like the third least active season in 20 years, Dave and Alex. So, hey, we'll take it. It means uh, no hurricanes, at least no impacts here other than Hurricane Arthur back uh, a few months ago. Back to you. We will take it. Thank you so much, Michael. What an anticlimactic <laughs> peak of the hurricane season, huh? It has so been, although quiet. everybody along the coastline saying, we'll keep it that way. You know, now it's starting to get cool, considered the first full day of autumn today, but first full day of autumn to whom? As Nick Walker tells us, autumn has technically two starts, the autumn according to astronomy and the autumn according to meteorology. Mm -hmm. Those who love the fall color look forward to this time of year, around the third week in September, when, according to our calendars, the colorful season begins. The autumnal equinox comes during the transition from summer, when the sun's most direct rays are over the northern hemisphere, heading toward winter, when the sun's direct rays are over the southern hemisphere. The equinox came at 1029 Eastern Time last night, at the moment when the sun was directly over the equator. But meteorologists in the northern hemisphere said goodbye to summer, not last night, but three full weeks ago. Meteorological autumn began on September 1st. The reason it's different from the equinox on the 22nd? Well, probably the most important is for record keeping. We need consistent periods to calculate averages in order to compare weather from one year to the next. The dates when the astronomical seasons start and end are not consistent. For example, next year the equinox is on September 23rd. In 2016, it's back to the 22nd again. Also, when you look at weather in most places in the Northern Hemisphere, the warmest temperatures occur from June to August, the coldest from December to February. Most of us in this country have had freezing weather well before the winter solstice begins, three or four days before Christmas. Meteorological autumn, the period of September through November, is for most a transitional time between the warmest and coolest time of year. For most of us, these kind of fall images are still a few weeks away. But if we look at the season strictly from a meteorological point of view, autumn has been already underway for weeks. Seven, I'm meteorologist Nick Walker. And we leave you with a look at New York City on this first day of fall. Low 70s for Central Park. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, late night thunderstorms, low 75, winds light and variable, chance of rain 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms, high 85, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. the two largest economies and emitters in the world, we have a special responsibility to lead. That's what big nations have to do.
The president makes his impassioned plea for a change today. How he says the government is preparing to deal with our changing climate. And another change today, the first day of autumn, but it feels more like we are falling back into summer. We'll tell you who's going to see temperatures nearly 20 degrees higher than average. And it's a view very few people get to see. The amazing images that are amazing us today. Wait till you see exactly what's going on beneath these clouds. There they are. There That's they a cool are. story. You've got to stay tuned for this one. Trust us on this one. Hey, you know what? From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you know what you're watching? What's that? You know what we're watching. I know that's right. Weather Center Live. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And we thank you so much for joining us today on this Tuesday. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. A pleasure to have you along with us today. Well, Climate Week is going on right now in New York City, and there were some heavy hitters that took center stage today. You heard the president just now, but celebrities also took to the podium at the United Nations. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio, who you're seeing now, was one of them. And we're going to bring you those speeches throughout the hour. But we do want to take a yep. look at some of the areas with active weather right now, including another rainy day in the state of Florida, Dave. It's a rainy day in Florida. Look at this. Here we are in Miami. Well, we've got a little bit of sunshine hither and yon, but it's been a mostly cloudy day. Temperature only 78 degrees. Looks like some fog out there downtown. It's just been one of those years for us. It's been very wet. We've had 55 inches of rain so far this year at Miami International Airport, 45 inches of those since June 1st. So what a summer here in Florida, and September has been a wet one too. We are running above average. Here's a look at the radar for South Florida, the Keys, and right up toward Miami-Dade, you see the latest light rain. It's moving right up uh, Interstate 95, heading up toward uh, Hollandale, Hallandale, and then into uh, Hollywood and Fort Lauderdale. Everglades City with a few sprinkles, but now the heaviest rain appears to be off the Carolinas. This whole action is moving northward and eventually to end up in Norfolk, Virginia, where it's mostly cloudy, into Dover, and then New York City, where it's sunny right now, clouds and rain on the way. Low pressure developing here. We've got northeast wind at 29 miles an hour here and a southeast wind at 15 miles per hour there, right on either side of that front. Low pressure is developing and rain is on the way. It's been raining this morning in Charleston. We've had off and on rain in Myrtle Beach and even with an upper low spinning right here, some of that moisture has been drawn back into Charlotte where temperatures only around 60 cool degrees. Our average high this time of year is about 80. The forecast is for the heavy rain to move into eastern North Carolina. Flash flood warnings are already in effect for the mainland counties of eastern North Carolina. Rain up into the Chesapeake Bay by Wednesday night. Night. Headed for you, too, in New York and Boston. Alex, back to you. Thank you, Dave. It is the first official day of autumn, but tell that to people in places like Denver, where the temperature is in the low 80s now. And look where we're headed by Thursday. Upper 80s, your forecast high on Thursday. Average high this time of year, 75. And Denver, one of the spots into parts of the central U.S., the plains. That's not going to be feeling much like fall as we start off the first week of the season. Instead, very warm start to the season into the plains. We'll be talking about temperature. 10, even 20 degrees above average. Low 80s right now in Denver, Aurora, Denver Airport, Brighton, all in the low 80s. We've got 79 in Littleton and also in Centennial. Now, temperatures across the rest of the region, low 80s for Wichita, near 80 in Rapid City, 84 in Billings, a little cooler into parts of eastern South Dakota, northeastern Nebraska, where we have seen some rain. Got a disturbance, and you can see those winds around that. Now, winds are out of the south, and they're breezy in Wichita, those southerly winds helping to increase some of the temperatures across that area. Water vapor imagery showing that system that did bring the rain to parts of South Dakota, also Nebraska, so that's why the temperatures there were a little bit cooler. Jet stream going to go way off to the north as we go through the late part of the week, and with that jet stream well off to the north, we'll have a ridge, that upside down U, known as a ridge, and that ridge beneath it, we're going to see that warm air expanding. So winds out of the south, temps will be on the upswing, 20 degrees above average tomorrow in Billings in the low 90s, near 90 in Salt Lake City, low 90s Rapid City and Bismarck on Thursday for Bismarck. That is 23 degrees above average and the 90s stick around, Dave, into Friday. That could be some of the warmest weather we've seen all year now that we're into fall. 
Well, just hours after addressing the nation to announce airstrikes against ISIS in Syria, President Obama stepped to the podium at the UN to discuss a threat he says is even greater, global climate change. Our citizens keep marching. We cannot pretend we do not hear them. We have to answer the call. We know what we have to do to avoid irreparable harm. We have to cut carbon pollution in our own countries to prevent the worst effects of climate change. We have to adapt to the impacts that unfortunately we can no longer avoid. And we have to work together as a global community to tackle this global threat before it is too late. And last night, we dedicated an entire hour of Weather Center Live to climate change and the weather. And our experts were all here to take questions from our viewers. A lot of people are interested in tornadoes. Will we see more? Will we see less? Well, here's what severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes had to say. Well, the answer is we really don't know. The data, our historical data, the database is not good enough to tell us. And then if you consider alternatively the physical processes that you need to get tornadoes, even there there's a competition. You need warm, moist, unstable air to make the thunderstorms. We know we'll have more of that. But the wind shear that you need to get those thunderstorms to rotate, that may go down as the jet stream actually migrates farther into the northern latitude. So the jury is still out even there in terms of how tornadoes will respond. We do think, though, in the summer months without more warmth and moisture, those pop-up thunderstorms that go up, get top heavy, they'll come crashing down with flash flooding and local damaging winds that will probably increase. How about that lineup of experts? Wow, that's the all-star team right there. That is, meeting of the minds for sure. But, uh, you know, he did raise some interesting points, something that we definitely have to keep in mind. Firefighters busy yeah. in California. Oh, yes, they are. But they are gaining ground on a massive wildfire in Northern California. But that could all change this afternoon. Coming up, a change in the weather that could make it for a dangerous day on the ground. Plus, we were walking over there, we fell into the canal, and we almost got swept under also. El Paso, Texas hit hard again by downpours. Coming up, the dangerous path one man took to help save a woman's life. You know, millions of people have saved with Progressive, so I get invited to quite a few family gatherings. Heck, I saved Judith here a fortune with discounts like Safe Driver, Multicar, Paperless. You make a mighty fine Mrs. Milady. I'm not saying Mark's thrifty. Let's just say I saved him $519, and it certainly didn't go toward that ring. Am I right? <laughs> so visit Progressive.com today. I call this one the Robot. Cooper engineers its tires not just for performance, but real life performance. So before you get in, get going. Get gone. You need to get a tire that gets you. Because life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. Buy four qualifying Cooper tires and get up to a $70 prepaid card by mail. See retailer for details. This week on America's Morning Headquarters, a bucket list destination is on the verge of vanishing. Which one of our national parks is literally evaporating? And we're looking forward to fall. What you can expect this season in your part of the country. It's this week, 7 a.m., the biggest weather hour anywhere. America's Morning Headquarters following Wake Up With Al. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, late night thunderstorms, low 75. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain, 80%. Wednesday, scattered showers or thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. Camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night, every 
every weeknight. Wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. This is the year to leave the ordinary behind and keep the promises you made to yourself. Take a leap of faith and have a little adventure. Stop dreaming and start doing. This is the year, and Alaska is the place. Begin your adventure at alaskabeyondyourdreams.com. Can this decadent fruit top pastry with indulgent streusel crumble be from five or one? New Fiber One Streusel. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Presenting luxurious savings at Ace. What? Save $7 instantly now through Sunday on gallons of Valspar Optimus, our most premium paint. Ace is a place to help the hardware folks. Fires in the West. The King Fire in California is more than 30% contained. That means 70% not contained. Firefighters are worried about...